Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Kinsey Mock Till and Diggleman Pro Till Pack by KMN Modding on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this test and demonstration of these two um, disc heroes. Now, uh, this is 15.71 megabytes to download. There are 9 and 13 slots on console. And as a note, a, a, a good note, this is their first mod on ModHub for all platforms. So, um, well, actually, there's it's their first mod on, on ModHub, period, that I can see. So congratulations to KMN Modding on their first mod on ModHub. Now, let's get to it. Tools and disc arrows are where you'll find them, and there's two of them. We have a smaller one, a 390 horsepower required, 7.9 meters and 12 mile per hour uh, working speed. If we come in here, we have a couple of options. We have wheel setup for standard and standard two. So it looks like, um, yeah, a couple of nice tire choices there, whatever you like, zero charge for that. And then the brands, you have the Kinsey brand or you have the Degelman Pro Till. Uh, which I do believe the Daigleman's the one that uh, we have up here in Canada land, at least the one that's uh, the, that I've seen more of. I don't think I've seen any Kinsey, but anyways. Uh, the next one is really cool. Uh, it defaults to the disc Carol plus mulcher, so two, two, two mints in one. Uh, two, two operations in one, disc Carol and mulcher, or if you just prefer disc Caro, sorry disc hero then you can do that but it doesn't cost you anything and it doesn't you know it wow why not right disc hero and mulcher nice to see that um added ability the next one up is quite uh quite a step up although the um yeah not quite twice as uh large 620 horsepower though so it's a big boy uh required uh 12 0.2 meter working width at the 12 miles per hour and the same options here we have standard one or standard two for tires we have the kinsey or pro till models and disc hero and mulcher or just disc hero so very nice a uh, straight up 108,000 no no hidden fees right so this is how you get it now once you've configured Let's get our help windows on here. Once you've configured um, the mulching uh, aspect, yes or no, it can't be changed once you hook it up. So if you want to change it to to add or take away that mulching feature, you can't do it in here. It's not a switchable function. It's just um, you have to go back into the... Um, work like the um, repair area and switch that if you want now uh, how do I know it's actually working the mulching function well up here this is stubble tillage so we know it gives stubble tillage there you go and then if we jump over here to mulched I have two of them I have two of them that that I set to mulching and two of them I did not obviously here we have mulched not over here however we did I did test them out over there. Uh, oh, before we unfold them, we do have some, uh, it's, it is roadworthy in the sense that it has lights and signals. Uh, no beacons, but that's fine. L1 and X unfolds it. Pretty nice. Um, uh, these, this tractor is set a little bit higher than the 320, it's something like 340 horsepower, something like that. Now, if you look very closely, those, that front, this front row of, uh, tillers actually do the mulching. And then this back row here does the tillage. So you can kind of see that as you go forward, a whole hire a worker as they go forward. 
some nice and a little bit of animation a little bit of movement you can see that's pretty nice not a lot I mean they're they're moving separately so that's kind of nice to see and because the mulcher option is at the front you're gonna leave a little bit of untilled ground at the front and I think that's just because the worker there's a function and once that hits the uh, ground or the the edge of the field it stops so you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit of that and it's gonna do that whether whether you do a headlands or not so it's just it's just how the workers work really uh, but you can see there's a tad bit of overlap but that's okay and the workers seem to work uh, just fine uh, without any issues or problems and uh, no problem pulling it either so if we pop over here now if we take a look that was there we go mulched now this fellow here he's on the big boy without the mulching feature and we'll just fold it up and unfold it so you can see it's pretty much the same as the smaller one just has this like so very nice we'll unfold it again while we travel over to the end of the field here now this one uh, let's just pop up way up here uh the the big one did occasionally leave a bit of a spot but um and here even without so let's we're just going to give it a swim a swim oh where'd that come from don't know uh we're going to give it a, a bit of a whirl here at the end so this one does not have the mulching and you can see it's not mulching at the front so that's be pretty obvious uh i was impressed that um is it going to leave the little spot? Yeah, it still leaves a, just a tiny little edge. So you might have to just come back and catch that edge on a, after the worker's finished. But the turnaround, um, I know the turnaround is mostly controlled by the worker and the tractor, but sometimes the implement can get can affect how the worker turns around with these implements. So... And the articulated tractors are particularly troublesome with some uh, with some implements, but not this one. This <clears throat> this one works just fine and ticks along at the 12 miles per hour without any problem whatsoever. And there you go. So a nice. Uh, I really do like seeing a lot more of these implements now that offer the mulching or dual aspects to yeah either add, added mulching or rolling or whatever they add along with whatever it is cultivating or plowing plus etc etc but there you go that's the kinsey mock till and diggleman pro till pack by km in modding on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one Bye for now.